Welcome back everyone to the hello guys this is another episode of the C++ for beginner series and in this video is going to be a short one in which we are going to learn how headers and uh, header files and other files work so currently we have got all of our program in one file which you can see has grown to our around 91 lines which is quite long you might want to break your program into multiple files for example you might want to have this class uh, class called account be in a different file so what you do in order to do that is you go ahead and say solution explorer and if I open that you can see this basically gives us the program that we have got everything that we have got uh, but you don't need to essentially do that you can just go under file and uh, go ahead and say add and you can see uh, no not really uh, yeah uh, no uh, well let's actually go in here right click and go ahead and say add and we have got uh, right click on header files go ahead and add and hit new item and in here what you should see is give you a template for different kind of items you want to choose the one called header file and in here you are going to say uh, this basically means that you are going to have a separate file which will contain your account so we are going to call it account and your this file must end with a actually not must but this file should end with a dot h you put dot h at the end and then you put dot account at the top and then you go ahead and say add and you can see this is the file that we are presented with this includes this line at the top and you don't need to worry about what that is and just uh, we are going to basically cut this whole thing and go in here and paste it uh, yeah so we have basically split our program into multiple files and uh, you can see here we are having a couple of problems since we have not included the std in here we are only including it in the main program so we need to kind of fix that and in order to do this what you do is you go ahead and add std before this so you go std colon colon and then you go ahead and say std wherever it's going in an error you say std colon colon cr and we are going to go ahead and say std colon colon string which is pretty awesome so after that then we have basically got our whole program in a separate file uh, uh, and uh, obviously this needs to include the main file so you need to kind of include uh, string here because you need to include every uh, in every file you need to import uh, include the files that you want to use separately and you want to also include another file which is um, not uh, going to be string which is going to be uh, you know the uh, IO stream yeah stream because obviously we are doing input and output that should fix all of the problems automatically and if I go in here you can see it's giving us a problems now because account basically does not exist anymore in this file in order to use that you can actually include this account dot h like you would normally include any file so I'm going to go ahead and add in a hashtag include but you don't need to do it the way you import standard libraries you don't put these bangle brackets what you do is you put a pair of quotes and in here you can say account dot h and that will basically copy account dot h and paste it here which will basically cause all, all of this to uh, kind of uh, work automatically which is pretty awesome 